everyone, welcome back to my channel with a slightly different background this time. Uh, I am going to be showing you some winter stickers um, from a recent kind of sticker haul that I have embarked upon. I'm going to start with Buttercream Stickers, which is a shop I PR for, as you all know. Um, and I got this kit, but I also got a couple of the washi. Um, so these are the date numbers in silver. And these are the kind of doily circles. They match the kit. This was a freebie. Also in silver with little snowflake detail. Um, these are the different types of florals. So this kit is called Winter Moments. So these florals are white with like a little tiny kind of purple center in them. But these are like the date cover kind of florals where you can layer them at the top. These are the more traditional deco florals. I think I got two sheets of these, yep. Two sheets of those so I can show off this spread. Um, I also ordered, um, I think, Lori had come out with her on the time that she released this kit, some more of this washi strips. So these are interesting in that I kind of feel like they are they can go at the top of the page, but also like get layered on top of other types of washi. You know what this looks like to me? This kind of looks like when you go to a fancy dinner and the um, tablecloth is gathered underneath the table with like a little sash. That's kind of what this looks like. But this is um, Valance version one. This is the second one that looks like banners. These are in silver. And then this is the third one, which is kind of like these stacked kind of ribbons. Again, this one I would probably layer on top of some other washi. Um, so this is the kit Winter Moments. You may have seen this on my feed when this kit was 20% off. I showed the full boxes, but it's definitely obviously a winter kit. It's in the name, but it feels very icy, which I love. Winter is one of my favorite seasons. Um, so, uh, yep, let's get into it. This is the second page. Classic buttercream stickers, uh, deco on the side with the snowflakes. I think this is in the original format. I know that she's, um, updated and switched a few things on the format recently, so. Um, and this is the page with more scallops boxes. I always love that the scallop, um, that the deco goes across these two. I think that could be interesting on the page, although I'm not sure how I would pull that off but it could maybe go across a column like this that would be cool um so yeah there's lots of extra deco on this page as well I think there used to be like a stamp thing here that uh Lori took out so um and this is the date covers and washi again with the muted kind of blue and grays it feels very icy which I love and there's an extra washi strip here uh so this is winter moments in silver foil and that's from buttercream stickers and you can use my code ash15 to get 15% off this kit uh, next we have my ink paper plan order this is an order I placed pretty much right after I got my um, PR order and this lovely wax seal I really don't want to ruin it but I am okay. Rip it open. Um, but this, like, I guess, was this count as vellum? I don't know. It kind of reminds me of vellum, but the new packaging, I think, is really cute. Um, so, yep, this is, like I said, from Ink Paper Plan. This is the freebie. Matches a lot of the other freebies. I think this is the same freebie that I got in my last order. This is my, uh, um, freebie that you get if you use my code, Ashley20, with Ink Paper Plan. And I picked up some more... Um, kind of winter deco. This was a $2 Tuesday. So it's very like definitely winter and not Christmas themed. So these are pine dividers. And again, it just feels like winter is very like sparse. It's very icy. It's very cold. So silver is going to be probably the leading foil once we get out of the Christmas season. I think most of my Christmas kits are actually light gold or silver. So um, I got three of these. Holly, this decoration is a little bit more kind of in between Christmas and let me put this on Christmas and uh winter because Holly's kind of Christmassy but also kind of wintry. But you can definitely tack this on at the end of a box in a corner, makes a great like layering deco piece. I got these in all three foils. 
um because i think winter will have all three foils and definitely christmas as i said is like like gold and silver this i got um it's just a branch i got i just got this one in silver because i thought this could be a good kind of match for some of the elements in the kit um and then these are the pine wreaths which um are like kind of they're contour cut i believe is the right way not kiss cut so they come out like this so you can definitely layer them over a, another circle label. You could write something in the middle and then put the, the wreath around it. You could do all sorts of things. Um, and again, these are win much more wintry, but could go, they could go in Christmas. I mean, there are no rules. It's all about being creative, right? So I got them in three different colors, uh, foils rather. And this is the kit Hello Winter. Um, ink paper plant does a lot of like hello series, hello October, hello summer. So this is hello winter and silver foil. And this is another kind of icy blues kit. Um, I really like the deer. I think the deer is really pretty. Um, while I was on vacation, uh, I, uh, saw this, this deer, this buck, and I know that you measure them in terms of the points they have on their horns, but I was too scared to try to count. And it literally walked right up to my car and I was like, so I flashed my lights, but I was just like, what are you supposed to do? I don't know the procedure. I was just like, please get away. And I kind of, I like was going to drive off, but he was kind of blocking my, I didn't want to spook him, but I did want to want him to get away from my car because I was like, what are you about to do, sir? So <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's my dear story. Um, so these are the full boxes. Uh, this paper is so thick. I always think I'm taking two pages, but um these are the date covers and this is much more of a purple than a blue i don't know if it's showing up blue on camera it looks very purple to me um but the washi is this like muted gray i love a gray or a grayish grayish a friend introduced me to that term in high school um so this is definitely like a gray beige um the usual kind of uh ink paper plan like assortment of boxes i really love the square ones at the bottom um, and yeah, and all the colorways and the kind of like printed pattern ones. Um, and I know that her uh, kits have gotten an updated format. So this is the older format, I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think. Um, so this is the kind of the older one. I'll, um, I have some uh, kits on the way with the newer one. So I'm excited to show that off. But uh, as usual, again, tons of layering options, which I love. And so this is Hello Winter and Ink Paper Plan. You can use my code again. Um, Ashley 20 to get 20% off this kit. Next, we have Mintu Studio, a shop that I have a few kits from, but I somehow never get around to using them. I have way too many kits, in case y'all didn't recognize from my hauls. But um, I saw this like Christmassy kit and I absolutely had to have it. So let's do the deco first. Oh, there's a card on the back. Ooh. Oh, thank you for supporting my small business. This is a card. Don't forget to tag Mintu Social, Mintu Studio on social. This is cute. And this card is so thick. This is sturdy. Um, I didn't even see that. Okay, so here is the deck though. Oh, this is cute. This little thing on the packaging. That's cute. I forgot what all I ordered, friends, per usual. So this is going to be another, another. Uh, we're going to be on a journey of discovery together. So I got this deco for this kit, which is called Winter Days. Um, and I like these larger pieces. I know that we've all been, well, not me, we've all, I don't want to assume, but a lot of us have been talking about using larger deco to kind of create like scenes in the, in the sidebar. And I love that trend. I'm going to hop all over it. So you can definitely do a ton of interesting things with this swing, with this little house. So, um, and I like these in premium matte because I think the effect of having the paper kind of stacked on top of each other is a little nicer than how it might look in transparent matte. I think transparent matte is much better for like deco that you're putting in your main spread and not on your sidebar. Although I'm coming around to like kind of back around a premium matte. Like I think the, the thicker layering is really good looking but you can't go wrong either way so here's the page of like the deco florals i really like this little bow that's cute um yeah this is definitely christmasy these just like scream poinsettia to me so um which always screams christmas of course uh these i got these dangles these are so cute 
look at that. I just really like their, their how delicate they are. I have a lot of dangle deco that I like to layer, oops, that I like to layer across the top, um, but I really liked how thin these were. And these are actually little diamonds on these, yeah, um, in between the, on the dangle. So also got that. So this is Winter Days. If I can get this open. And this is in gold foil. And so it says winter days, but this is for sure. It's like screaming Christmas. All the red in it just screams Christmas to me instead of winter. So, yep. I love, I love the full boxes. The, the absolute middle one says winter is a time to gather golden moments, embark on a sentimental journey, and enjoy every idle hour. And I am here for that. I'm also loving all little little woodland creatures and all these planner spreads like look at this little bird so cute you could definitely also write something in this box or in this box lots of great options so this is in gold foil um and this is a second page lots of um like this is so interesting because this is both a green and a blue like green and blue are both at play in this kit which is really interesting for for winter so you got a light blue a like sage green and like a darker green yeah, huh. I also really love these little corner um, scallops at the bottom. You can, I guess you could always cut these, but so lots of different box options you have here. Um, more uh, kind of like scalloped edge late circle labels. This matches the, the transparent deco, um, some page flags, some layering options, lots of headers. I know we've all been talking about thin versus thick headers. Um, and here is the page with the washi and the um, date covers. So your sort of traditional washi. I kind of really, I like how some of this is foil roamed and some of it, some of it is not. That's really interesting. Um, it makes the bits that do have foil on it really stand out. So these are the date covers, two habit trackers, a meal tracker if you're me and that's what you track. You also have these tiny little scallop um, edge like not really dividers. I usually usually use them to like either top off my full boxes or to like top off the box in a spread. But um, so yeah, that is Winter Days from Mintu Studio in gold foil. Definitely going to be in rotation when it's Christmas time, which I think all of December will be Christmas time. So I have two orders from Nikki plus three. I'm going to start with this one first. Uh, so there's lots of freebies here. Um, yeah, a ton of freebies. So this is the first one. Pumpkin, candle, coffee cup. Super cute. I think I've been using these in my sidebar, a few of them. Date number dots in silver. The bow labels, which are classic Nikki Plus 3 staple. These little uh, Halloween characters are super cute and funny. I am going to find a way to use these. They're just cute. They're really funny. I think they're back from like the early, early days of Nikki's shop. So I'm pretty sure I bought this deco and it's not a, a freebie, but this is like Halloween kind of, oh, not Halloween, fall deco to the max. Um, so pumpkin pie, pumpkins, a sweater. Again, this is what I was talking about earlier with these large pieces of deco that you can layer in the sidebar. I love this ladder. Gonna use this ladder a ton. Um, and this little, I guess it's a wreath at the bottom. Could be fall and winter, so turkey. Okay, so this is the kit. First snow, and I got two pages of the deco, so I will just go for the kit first and then show off the deco. So this is first snow, <clears throat> and it is in silver foil. This is a kit that I feel I can get away with saying is strictly winter and not Christmas. Um, there is some red in it, like don't get me wrong, but uh, it feels definitely more wintry because there's not so much red um, and there's like more traditional winter, like this little snowman. There's a little sled, I guess, that's kind of Christmas. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, but this is for snow in silver foil. Um, lots of boxes the coloring with the, the addition of the pink and the brown here is really cute um kind of got like a hot cocoa feel 
um, more different types of boxes, habit tracker, lots of layering pieces, some more little layering swooshes at the side. I never know how to use these irregular kind of swashes, for lack of a better word, and spreads. I always try to, and I feel like it's like, eh, middling. It's not great, but um, and here's the washi and date covers in silver. Uh, habit tracker is another meal tracker if you're me. Classic Nikki plus three date covers. Uh, and that was interesting. Just heard something outside of my window. Um, but this is a, the Winter Treats deco sheet. Okay, so this is huge deco. Super large. Compare this to like the uh thing uh the fall sheet i can't really say thanksgiving I've got thanksgiving on the brain uh this deco is like much larger so this is definitely like you put this on the sidebar and this takes up a huge amount of space but it's winter treats and um i have a paper muse crash gingerbread kit that i think these like little candy canes and such will come in handy to in handy for layering and also in this kit but the cakes on this are huge so this is winter, the large winter treats deco sheet. There is also this cozy Christmas deco sheet that I am obsessed with. Also huge, dinormous. So what can I show for scale? Mm, Y'all might have to take my word for it, but it's it's huge. So this couch, I love the little chair. I love the sprig of holly. These socks, like this is like. It will go across, I think, a definitely at least one box, if not more. Like this house, I think, will definitely go across like a box and a, and a little bit and maybe a quarter of a box, a full box. So love a large deco piece for creating a sidebar scene. That just is, is great. So that's the kit in those two big deco sheets. And this is the smaller deco sheet, small floral deco sheet. I got two because I wanted to make sure to have enough. This is a very like unique colorway, I think. So I wouldn't be able to find this deco anywhere else on like a $2 Tuesday or something like that for a little bit cheaper. But um, yeah, so I got two sheets of that. And that is the first order. Now let's go to the next one. Just been stacking these up on my desk be like girl it's time to do that sticker haul and i'm like is it it can be hard to find time to sit down and film but it's always fun i'm like i finally get to play with them so this is the same freebies before doesn't matter i can use two so this is also another freebie so this is like a lavender purple kind of um and gold date covers feels more like spring um these orange and green kind of transparent. I think I had this in another order. Again, I wish I knew how to use these swashes. But I have enough of these now that I could probably cobble something together. Uh, the bows that I think come, like, when it's opening weekend. <laughs> opening weekend, like, it's a ball game. Like, when it's the weekend that these kits are for selling, I think the bows come with them. Um, this is another fall deco sampler. Again, this deco is huge. I love it. This little fence, this fence is going somewhere. I just love everything about this. It's a little pumpkin spice, like a flavoring dispenser. And this little house, okay. I'm pulling out this fall deco. This is definitely going in my next spread, like no contest. So um, these are the date dots. And I got two kits, so let me see if I can try to separate them. Okay, so this is the first one. It's called Frost Winter. And uh, this is the deco, floral deco. Interesting kind of blues here. Like the blues are quite deep. Kind of looks like water to me, like an ocean type blue. Um, but Frost is just, yeah, like I said, icy. Um, the sign says hot cocoa. I have a bunch of these, um, shop signs from her in silver. So can't wait to kind of also bring that in. But this is just like a snowflake, snowy kit. It's very blue. That's why I said icy. Um, once again, you have a little, little bit of the tan, grayish, some greens, but blue is the dominant color in this. It's in silver foil. Um, 
you have your uh, corner thing, no swashes, interestingly enough, um, but some more layering pieces here. Um, and again, I confess, I, can't, I never know what to do with these irregular boxes, irregular bordered boxes. Like, I just, I, I just can't manage them. Um, but I love the washi on this. These snowflakes are so pretty. Juxtaposed against the florals. And again, these blues are really deep. I know it's foiled, but you can still see how deep the blues are. Uh, the, the theme for this is like the winter, winter fresh gum is what it's making me think of. I don't ever see that gum around. I don't chew a lot of gum these days. When I was a kid, it was like, what is your gum? You know, so frost. That is Nikki plus three in uh, silver foil. The next one is let it snow. So I also got the bows, same silver date dots, deco here. Um, and this is also in silver foil, also icy. Also, but like, I think a little warmer because of the pink or the, yeah, the kind of light pink here. Um, definitely feels uh, like very kind of ski lodge with the cocoa and the boots and all that. But I like the little houses. These little houses are cute. Again, we got the hot cocoa motif. So maybe I'll be bringing in some of the hot cocoa deco here. Um, but yeah, it's another kind of very refreshing blues with some muted blues and pinks. Um, same deal with all of the format. Y'all have seen this by now. Um, but it's nice to have all these options. And once again, more snowflakes, slightly less, but kind of spaced out with some more dots some florals, um, your habit trackers, date covers, just really pretty. So there's going to be a lot of silver. There's going to be a lot of Nikki plus three this winter. What is new? What's different <laughs> per usual? So that completes all of my Nikki plus three orders. Um, next is Saucy Stickers. I think I bought this during, I want to say it was the UPC sale. It's sometimes hard for me to remember what these sales are called, but um, this is the note that Rebecca usually puts. Thank you, Ashley. Famous be face for both the day place. Pretty normal for saucy stickers. I think I've, that, that card is always in there. This kit is called Wintergreen. And so pretty. It's definitely winter, but it's like a, a, a kind of departure. I love a dark green for winter. I have a Crafts by Towie kit that's on the way, and I just cannot wait for it. So, um, let's do the freebie first. So this is the freebie. I love this lace. Is this, are these three separate? Oh, and the frames are like contour cut. Yep, different size. A little stamp. The stamps are so cute, but they're another thing where I'm like, I don't know how to use this. Where do I put this? Like, show me planner goddesses. Um, I need examples. But uh, yeah, Saucy Sticker is famous for her very large and lovely, you know, sheets. I love these florals. I think I actually have some deco that is very similar to this. So um, similar in color to this. So this is great. You can definitely create some seas with this like bundled up person. And also this person, their face covered with a plant, but a little deer. Uh, this looks like a Christmas star to me. So yeah, another kind of cocoa thing. Lots of options here for layering. But this is winter green. And it is in silver foil. So pretty. Um, we've got a few kind of contour cut boxes here. This one is contour cut... This one is contour cut. I think the rest are... And a little photo. These are some photos. This, this kid is like mixed media. It's lovely. I also really love that there are like these note kind of um, hint, like elements to it. Because I have that Letters to Apollo like notes washi strips. Is it strips? It's like layering pieces. And I cannot wait to just like bring them in. I've been dying for an excuse to use them. But winter green is definitely green. Uh, and this says snow kissed over here. I wonder if in the journaling, I need to go back and look, this is contour cut. Cause this would be such a cute, like contour cut thing to, to layer on. Anyway, here's the date covers. 
have a trackers. You can track and do meal trackers here. Another torn corners. Love this. Some more layering pieces. Some more kind of half mandala type shapes. Boxes in the colorway with foils. Some florals already layered on there. Um, and the washi is divine. I've been looking for some um, lace details that kind of look similar to this in silver. I think my ink paper plan lace washi might match this um but also looking for like some white or tan lace cut out washi that i could put on the page that's more like journaling style i think that'd be really interesting but this is the washi is super cute here um and oh i got the journaling page would you look at that ash thank you past me <laughs> So yeah, they're more cutout pieces. I love this little like doily on the bottom. This is also like cold weather person. Great. Yeah, this is so, I could definitely use all of this. Well, obviously, but this is so awesome. I'm so glad I got the journaling page. Man, look at me remembering to do stuff. So this is a journaling page for Wintergreen, page one. Um, and lots of elements that you can layer. This is contour cut. It's kind of similar to the full box at the bottom here. So yeah, could definitely do kind of a motif there. But this is winter green from Saucy Stickers. And it is super cute. Definitely winter. Not quite Christmas. So this one will probably be in January, I would say. Um, and next is Paper Muse Crafts. Um, this uh order she started doing this like twine thing and i love it oh the, the freebie slipped out so the freebie says gingerbread kisses and christmas wishes and there's a 20 percent off code this reminds me of the coloring in hazel by two little bees it's the same kind of like caramel pinky coloring so i'm gonna untwine this carefully i almost don't want to open this it's so cute Then I'm going to rip this tissue paper for sure. How do you tape this without ripping it? Like, oh, and geez. It's just so delicate. Alrighty. So we got a couple of things going on here. So I got her gingerbread Thrifty Tuesday, which I know that she recently brought that back this past weekend. Um, I felt like I had enough for this kit, so um, I did not indulge. But these are the gingerbread confetti in rose gold to match this gingerbread kit. Um, gingerbread dividers. Adorable. And then some gingerbread garlands which for me is either, I thought I was going to do top of the page with this, but I actually think it would be cuter in the spread. They're kind of like, it would take, a, I think, a lot to make sure they go all across the top. I think they're more useful in the spread. So that is the Gingerbread Thrifty. And then, so I got ordered two kits. So I'm going to separate the deco from each kit and just do them one at a time. So let's make sure that we have them separated. Okay, so this first kit is gingerbread and these florals. I got two of uh, two sheets of them. So pretty. Getting like chocolate vibes. Chocolate caramel is the vibe. Um, but yeah, this kit is, gin is called gingerbread. It's in rose gold foil. And I just had to have it. I just thought it was so cute and fun. And it's kind of Christmassy, kind of wintery. It's right in the middle, I think. Um, but it's 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 just pretty. And I wanted it. With these candy canes, it's leaning a little bit Christmas. I might use this in my like Christmas theme spreads. I might use it to transition from Christmas to winter, but um this washi is just adorable. And these cookies are like photo style cookies. They don't even look like drawings. It looks like just a picture of a small cookie. But got the gingerbread men there. Habit tracker, your headers, meal tracker. Um, I think this is the, I want to say this is the new format. I want to say this is a new format. So more scallop labels, those kind of like oval labels, lots of options at the bottom here for square boxes and way more page flags. Um, and 
uh, your headers, which are thinner, I think, than the previous format. Another habit tracker, another meal tracker, fewer page flags, which are fine with me because I hardly ever use them, but um, they are still cute and they can definitely work as layering if you don't use them to actually track anything. Um, and lots of layering pieces, um, including more deco up here. So uh, these little calendar things are also cute. Again, another thing that I'm like, I really want to incorporate this, but I just can't figure out how. So I just love the, the browns on these date covers. It's just very, like I said, it's giving caramel chocolate vibes. So that's gingerbread in uh, rose gold foil. And then we have snow fun. Let me get the deco. So this is the deco. It's very like light and airy feeling. It's kind of springy in the coloring, but because it's silver, it feels like it feels like um winter. This is definitely winter. The full box says the one of the middle full box says to appreciate the beauty of a snowflake, it is necessary to stand out in the cold. That is true. But it's just really this kit just feels very light and airy. It's so pretty. Um Gotta love the snowflake washi. I'm a sucker for that always. Um, and like I said, this is in silver foil. Really love the delicate kind of garlanding on the side and the reformat. Same format as the other one with the scallop labels, the square, the headers, more deco, more layering pieces at the bottom, some flags, page flags, and like kind of, I guess these are list flags. I don't know what's the great best way to call them, but... Uh, this is Snow Fun in silver foil. So cute. Uh, and so this is it for right now. And I will be back with some more stickers. Thanks. See you then.